Hello everyone, today I am going to start from your grade 6 science book. The first lesson of your science book is Wonders of the Living World. Ok, Putala, so throughout this lesson, you are going to learn about microorganisms, uses of microorganisms, the three groups of microorganisms, characteristics of microorganisms, germinations of seed. And uh, today I am going to start from the environment. Okay, now I am going to read the paragraph of your science book. The environment is some surrounding including us. It consists of land, water bodies, houses, plants, animals, etc. So now we all know what is the environment is. So it consists of land, water bodies, houses, plants, animals, etc. Many more things included in the environment. Each and environment is differ from the other. There are many more places included in environment. Okay, now let's do the following activity to find out the components of the environment. Now there's an activity 1.1. Now you can see here, observe your classroom and the environment outside classroom, including school garden. So when you're observing these things, you can get an idea about what is the environment. So there are pictures. From the first picture, we can see there's an urban environment. And uh, from the second picture, we can see this is a fresh air. It has fresh air. Uh, and this is a very rural environment and greenish environment and third picture also the same it has a greenish environment which consists of many more animals and including fresh air and fourth picture also it has fresh air and clean environment it shows a seashore okay so each and every picture is different from the other but each and every place is refer for the environment now there's an activity okay let's identify the nature of the components of the environment can you wear a pair of shoes that you used when you were a baby no you can't why is that so just think like this so can you wear a pair of shoes that you used when you were a baby so can you wear it again surely you can't because why now the size of your body is larger than the earlier when you're comparing with your infant age, the increase in size, height or amount is called growth. If they ask in your term test paper to describe what is growth, so you have to write the increase in size, height or amount is called growth. Okay, so can you see a growth in everything in the environment? So let's do the following activity to find out it. Okay, there's an activity to find out what are the living things that means what are the living organisms and the things that you the things that do not grow that means the non-living things that mean man-made things okay so things that grow mean living organisms including child animals and many more things living things things that do not grow mean non-living thing that means artificial things man-made things so these things do not grow so it is clear that there is a growth in some components while there is no growth in some components when you are observing carefully so you can see the differences each and everything uh, among the living things and non-living things components with the growth are called living things or living organisms the components without a growth are called non-living things now we identified what are the living things and what are the non-living things okay so the components of the environment can be categorized under two main groups living things and non-living things okay now first uh, first part of this we can categorize living things now here there's a boy dog a bird and a tree and under non-living things there is a glass of water, bicycle, rock, pen and books. Okay, so these are the man-made things that mean artificial things. So, it is easily understood that the two categories are plants and animals. Therefore, it's clear that living things can be divided into two main groups as plant and animals. Okay, so these living things also can be divided into two main groups. Those are plants and animals okay so now you can see here there are many more plants and as well as animals okay so when you observe the two water samples under the microscope you will be able to observe some tiny organisms these organisms that cannot be observed with the naked eye 
are called microorganisms some microorganisms that can be observed in the water taken from a pond are shown in these pictures so some living organisms can't be seen to our naked eye that means for our normal life so for those cases we have to use microscope to see those microorganisms those are the very tiny organisms so we have to use the instrument to see those microorganisms okay now you can see here there are a variety of microorganisms so usually the compound microscope is used to observe things that cannot be seen with the naked eye this is a microscope a larger number of microorganisms can be seen in water soil air and in rotten food especially a large number of microorganisms can be seen in water soil air and rotten food okay so accordingly organisms can be divided into three main groups they are plants animals and microorganisms so accordingly organisms can be divided into how many groups three groups for three groups they are plants animals and microorganisms okay characteristics of organisms now we are going to talk about growth putta now you can see here there's a little kitten cat and we can see a big large cat okay so and we can see here small coconut plant and by the time it has become a big coconut plant okay so about photograph show how the size of plants and animals is increased with the age so this increase in size height or amount is called growth growth is a common feature of organisms there is no growth in non living things as we discussed already putala so we know what is the mean by growth okay so we know which and every living beings have to face this fate okay so let's do the following activity to understand further about the growth of organisms okay there's an activity soak the seeds in water for one day plant the seeds in the yogurt cups with the wet soil so there's an activity now you can see here when you're observing carefully this picture you can see the differences and you can see the growth of this plant especially now at the beginning you can see here there's a small seed by the time it changes finally we can see a big plant so we are calling it as germination and growth of a seed so we have to under this topic we have to discuss many more things so i hope to come with the nutrition of a plant especially about the photosynthesis and uh, autotrophic and many more things have to discuss under nutrition okay hope to come from the next session see you soon